Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over a little bit about classes. Now, I'm still kind of new to classes, so I'm going to try doing my best to explain what they are. So, we're going to first go and show how a class is laid out. Now, it's kind of laid out like how a function would be laid out, but we'll just type uh, class, and then you want to call this class something. So maybe we want to call this uh, class character and then what we can do close it off like that alright so a class is pretty much something that can be reused a bunch of times it, it's kind of like a variable so how we have my number is an int well we could make my number a player because we're going to be creating a class, or I mean character. So if we wanted to make like my number character and give it a bunch of different other variables that we can reuse, we can use this. So we'll go in here and we want to assign it a couple of different variables. So we could do variable name, variable um, maybe level, variable um, we could give it a class, or um, since it's already labeled class, um, we could call it uh, maybe just character, character class, if we wanted to give it a class, if we're doing like an RPG style game. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we need. Or what I've added in for our class and so now character can be used for different things um, and it stores all these variables in here so what we can do is we can go up to our update function and let's say we want to assign um, some variables to this first we want to create a variable and so whatever we want to call our character, maybe we want to call it because uh, we're already going to be giving it a name, so we could just call it character1, maybe. Maybe if you had multiple characters. And we will take the we'll make it a character. Now did I capitalize that? Yes I did. So we're going to have to capitalize this as well. And so now we can um, access variables for a character. So maybe character one dot, and then we have our different things in here. We have character class, level, and name. So maybe we want to access name. We can equal to um, my name. character one dot and then we can choose level equals maybe we want them to be level one dot and then we can do like character class equals if we're doing an RPG we can take them like rogue and yeah that's a simple way to create our character and we name them character and then we can give them different attributes so let's say you know I wanted to create another character so we could do variable maybe character 2 give it the class for character and now we can access some more stuff so character 2 dot name and um, yeah, we can name them whatever we want. Um, so maybe we'll just call them second character. And this is just generic stuff, just to get an idea of what this stuff is. Maybe level for this one will be three. And character to dot character class. Maybe we want them to be 
a warrior instead. So yeah, so we could actually go in here and do like debug dot log. And we could say something like uh, character two dot, dot name. And let's say maybe they were attacking each other, so we could say attacked. Um, we'll put another space in there, plus. And character one. Dot name. Close that off. And we have our way that we can access the different characters.